Hello, I'm Snow White. And I'm Little Red Riding Hood. This is Hamza. And this is Gretel. And, and you decide, decide which, which story we're, we're going, going to play. play. Thanks, I wish you lots of fun. But wait, you've got to help me find my way through the story. And that won't be so easy. Because if we're not careful, the story will keep ending differently. So here's a clue for you. Watch out for the little arrows. They'll show you the right way to go. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Once upon a time, there was a very beautiful princess called Snow White. Unfortunately, her dear mother had died many years ago, and her father, the king, had married again. But Snow White's stepmother was sly, mean, and above all, very, very vain. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Your Highness, you're the fairest in the room, but Snow White makes you look like a broom. What? Fairer than I? Well, just you wait, Snow White. How may I serve, Highness? Listen, Hunter, I have a job for you. What I want you to do is this. And that was the evil queen's fiendish plan. The hunter would take poor Snow White into the forest and kill her. Thanks, I wish you lots of fun. But wait, you've got to help me find my way through the story. And that won't be so easy. Because if we're not careful, the story will keep ending differently. So here's a clue for you. Watch out for the little arrows. They'll show you the right way to go. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Once upon a time, there was a very beautiful princess called Snow White. Unfortunately, her dear mother had died many years ago, and her father, the king, had married again. But Snow White's stepmother was sly, mean, and above all, very, very vain. <coughs> oh, bless you, mother. Thank you, my child. Almost ready, my turtle dove? Yes, my liege. At once. <laughs> I'm the fairest in all the land. I'm the fairest. <sighs> Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Your Highness, you're the fairest in the room, but Snow White makes you look like a broom. What? Fairer than I? Well, just you wait, Snow White. How may I serve, Highness? Listen, Hunter, I have a job for you. What I want you to do is this. And that was the evil queen's fiendish plan. The hunter would take poor Snow White into the forest and kill her. <coughs> Snow White.
Snow White, you're in great danger, but I can lead you to safety. The hunter told Snow White of the evil queen's fiendish plan. Thereupon, Snow White moved in with the hunter and kept house for him. Although she was never allowed to leave the house, she was now safe from the queen's wicked clutches. And if she's not yet dead, Snow White is still polishing the hunter's crossbow. Poor, Poor Snow, Snow White! White. really want me to spend my whole life cleaning the hunter's house? Yes? No? No? Phew, thank goodness! <coughs> Snow White, I must warn you. Do you know what the Queen has asked of me? The hunter told Snow White of the evil Queen's fiendish plan, but he didn't want to harm the poor child and let her escape into the forest. See if I can't find my way out of the forest. Finally, Snow White came upon a sweet little house in the middle of the forest. Strangely enough, although the door was standing open, the house seemed to be deserted. Hello? Anyone home? Do come... Do come in, little girl. A wolf! How? A little while later, the Queen was admiring herself once again in the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Your Royal Highness, you are now officially the fairest in all the land. And if she isn't dead, then the evil queen is laughing happily ever after. <laughs> Do you really want me to be eaten by the big bad wolf? Yes? No? No? Phew, thank goodness! Maybe there's something to eat there. Finally, cold and very hungry, Snow White arrived at a little house in the middle of the forest. How happy she was when she saw that the entire house was made of gingerbread and sweets. Well, well, whom have we here? Tack in, tack in, my beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mm. tasty, isn't it? The little house didn't have very strong foundations, and Snow White was very hungry. Just you wait! Help! No! 
And if she hasn't yet caught Snow White, then the witch is still chasing her through the forest to this very day. Do you really want me to spend the rest of my days being hunted by the witch? Yes? No? No? Phew, thank goodness! Maybe there's someone who can help me. Snow White ran as far as her feet would carry her. Finally, she came to a little house in the middle of the forest. I wonder who lives here? What's that funny noise? Should I go in or not? Let's see if anyone's at home. Hello? Anyone home? Snow White couldn't believe her eyes. The plates, the cups, the chairs, everything in the little house was minuscule. Shall I try a bit? Mmm. What sweet little plates! Who's there? How sweet! Who wears such tiny shoes? I wonder where this goes. Oh, how wonderful! I'm just so tired. As dusk fell, the inhabitants of the little house returned home. It was the seven dwarves who worked in the ore mines. They were surprised to find that someone had been in their little house. And who's upstairs sleeping in our beds? <coughs> She's beautiful. I'm sorry, I... I was so tired and... May we ask what you're doing here? Well, it was like this. Snow White told the seven dwarves of the evil queen's cruel plan. The little men felt sorry for her and allowed Snow White to stay with them. 
Meanwhile, back at the Queen's favourite mirror... on the way. By far the fairest here, but Snow White over in Seven Hills is also a dear. She lives with the dwarfs in their little house, and compared to her, you look like a louse. What? Hmm. The Queen knew that the hunter hadn't killed Snow White. After much deliberation, she came up with a new fiendish plan. In the meantime, the unsuspecting Snow White was keeping house for the Seven Dwarves. Ow! It's all so cramped here. my child. May I come in? I'm sorry, but the dwarfs told me on no account to let anyone in. That's very sensible in this day and age. Maybe you'd like to buy something anyway. What about a piece of cake? Or a nice rosy red apple? Mmm, I really can't decide. Yummy. Come on, child. Make up your mind. Mmm, yummy. I'll have the apple. <laughs> it looks so tasty. Yeah, that should definitely be to your liking. Uh... <laughs> well, you were the fairest in the land. When the seven dwarves got home from work, they found Snow White lying motionless on the ground. Full of sadness, they laid her on a table and thought about what to do next. <laughs> ah, poor 
was Snow White. What happened to her? <sighs> Why on earth didn't she listen to us? <laughs> I bet it was the evil queen. She was so young. Let us make a coffin for Snow White. No! She looks as if she could wake up at any moment. We must fetch the hunter. Yes, yes, the hunter will know what to do. The hunter came as fast as he could. Sadly, he looked at what had happened to poor Snow White. You must help us. What can we do? I don't really know exactly. There is one thing. She's alive! Hooray! You saved my life. How can I ever repay you? In her gratitude, Snow White moved in with the hunter and made sure that his house was kept clean. Although she couldn't leave the house, she was completely safe from the evil queen. And if she's not yet dead, then Snow White is still washing the hunter's clothes whiter than white today. Poor Snow White! Do you really want me to spend the rest of my life doing the hunter's dirty washing? Yes? No? Phew, thank goodness! We really must build a coffin for Snow White. But out of class. Then we can always see how beautiful she is. So the seven dwarves built a coffin of glass for Snow White, who was still looking as pretty as a picture, and took it to a clearing in the forest. For long weeks and months, they kept watch over it. Then, one day, Oh, it's the prince! Is there a prince? Something so lovely! in the middle of the forest. Oh, see how he gazes on her. Oh, another royal wedding, how lovely. Funny trousers, though. Oh, this hat is just a school wizard. Wow. The seven dwarves waited faithfully many, many days, weeks, months, even years. But although Snow White still looked as beautiful as she ever had, there obviously weren't any princes available at the moment. And if they haven't died in the meantime, the seven dwarves are still sitting in the forest, keeping watch over Snow White. me to stay in the glass coffin forever and ever? Yes? No?
No. Phew, thank goodness. How he bases on her. Would oh, never yeah. wore a wedding gown that long. Funny oh. trousers, though. So beautiful. She is beautiful. Oh! 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 With Snow White and the Prince, it was love at first sight. So the Prince took her back to his father's castle, and soon after, the happy couple celebrated their wedding amid great pomp and circumstance. Snow White, you're so beautiful. To Snow White! <coughs> what a beautiful couple they make. Who can that be? A surprise guest. The evil uh, queen! What, huh? What is she? What was she invited? What? You're alive? <laughs> the evil queen was never seen again. Snow White and the Prince, on the other hand, had an unbelievable number of children and lived happily ever after, surrounded by their grandchildren. <coughs> Do you want to go on playing? Yes? No? Yes. Do you want to go on playing? Yes? No? No.